Good morning and thank you for joining us today. My name is Zoe Renner. I'm Simran Bargava. I'm Leah Wynn. As we all know, social media plays an active role in all of our lives. We constantly find ourselves glued to our smartphones. Social media increases communication and teaches students important topics, financial literacy being one of them. Financial literacy is the ability to understand and apply financial management skills. We developed a campaign that displays a beneficial social media connection through teaching FBLA members about financial literacy. To promote this to FBLA members, we developed an eight-month social media campaign. We kicked off the campaign in October and have already seen tremendous results. To achieve our goals and reach the maximum amount of members, we centered our campaign around three popular social media platforms, Instagram, TikTok, and Snapchat. Facebook and YouTube are ineffective in engaging teenagers. In the past years, the amount of teenagers that like Facebook has gone down from 12% to 6%. If Facebook was a main component of our campaign, it would be exponentially less effective since it does not impact our target audience of high schoolers as much as needed for a successful campaign. YouTube's popularity among teens has also decreased because longer videos are less effective in keeping the attention of teenagers. Instagram is used by people to share pictures and videos globally. It's crucial in our campaign as many teenagers use it on a daily basis. Instagram offers features including posts and stories that allow users to interact and engage with each other. Traditional posts allow members to interact with us through comments, but how can we use Instagram stories to encourage financial literacy among high school students? Students can submit questions through the questions feature on Instagram stories, which stay on our page for 24 hours. Informative stories are also posted for students to learn from. Through polls, we are able to ask questions and have our followers vote. And through countdowns, we can easily advertise upcoming events and important dates. Ever since Instagram was released in 2010, it has become one of the most popular pop platforms of all time. Almost half of the users use it once a day. It's extremely effective for the campaign because teenagers make up the largest age group on the app. Next is TikTok. You've probably seen millions of kids sucked into this app. TikTok is a well-known app that allows creators to upload 15 to 60 second long videos. The short length videos are extremely effective to show videos on TikTok where FBLA members can remember the information that is presented without losing focus or forgetting information. The three main features of TikTok are the For You page, hashtag challenges and duets and reacts. The For You page is a feature that every user has access to, and it's the feature that has proven to be the most beneficial to our campaign. This feature shows videos from different accounts based on what the app's algorithm thinks the user likes. This is based off of previously liked videos, hashtags that the user uses, and geographic location. To get our videos on the For You page of members, we use certain hashtags that are directed to them. These hashtags increase engagement by an average of 12.6%. The hashtag challenges, duets, and reacts also increase user interactivity and motivate members to become more active in learning about financial literacy on TikTok. Even though TikTok's a relatively new app, it was downloaded millions of times in the U.S. last year, and the largest age group in TikTok is teenagers, making it an effective platform for our campaign. We surveyed 80 high school students and found that 90% had a TikTok account. Of that 90%, 97% use the app on a daily basis, and 100% use the app at least once a week. We also asked the students to view these TikTok videos regarding common financial literacy topics. Upon viewing these, we that the videos were informative and interesting. This positive feedback allowed us to implement more TikTok videos into our campaign. The third platform in our campaign is Snapchat. Snapchat is used to share photos, videos, and text. Snapchat posts posted publicly only stay up on the account for 24 hours, but they are effective because they visually inform students about important topics. The main features that have been most beneficial to the campaign are YOLO questions and links. YOLO questions allow users to ask anonymous questions to users who made the post. For our campaign, we answered financial literacy questions that users sent in through YOLO. As for links, we attached links for useful websites to our posts which students could directly go to by simply swiping up on their phone. Along with TikTok and Instagram, Snapchat is one of the most popular platforms among teenagers. In a study, it was rated as one of the most increased in popularity, with teenagers being over three times as likely to use Snapchat over other platforms. This campaign began on October 1st and will end June 30th. 
We chose this time period to ensure that members were informed on financial literacy before certain important dates and events. The schedule highlights the different social media platforms and events. For example, purple indicates Instagram posts, blue indicates faster reminders, orange indicates TikTok posts, green represents Instagram stories, and yellow represents when we post yellow questions on Snapchat. Our campaign includes events such as TikTok Tuesday, where informative TikTok will be posted every Tuesday, and countdowns for deadlines of tax forms and FAFSA, something especially important for our senior members. A few days prior to Black Friday, we posted a Black Friday budgeting post that showed FBLA members how to spend money wisely on Black Friday and Cyber Monday. In our Instagram Quiz Week in December, we posted quizzes on our Instagram story to measure how much our members had learned about financial literacy. On TikTok, we started a hashtag challenge in April where students can post their own TikToks about financial literacy using the hashtag financial FBLA. To promote participation and engagement, we will reward the member who receives the most likes with a prize. On tax day, we released a Snapchat filter as a reminder for members to file their taxes. And as the school year gets closer in June, we will make a post on Instagram regarding the W-2 form so that our members are able to properly file taxes. Now that we are over halfway through our campaign, we measured the interaction we experience on each platform and have projected the engagement for the remainder of the campaign. As you can see, our campaign has a large impact with many views and likes, and we have already achieved the goals that were set before the campaign had even started. This engagement has proven that our campaign has been successful, informative, and effective. Although this campaign may have not used the most traditional social media platforms, it has proven to be much more effective in engaging students and informing them about financial literacy than it would have been if we used Facebook and YouTube. Thank you all so much for your time today.